Hi Aquarius, thanks so much for joining me here for your reading. So if you're already acquainted with the channel, you know what time it is, we're going to open up with the astral travel messages and then we're going to go ahead and overlay this with the tarot portion of the read. If you're new, this is where I connect directly to spirit to anchor down predictions for events that have already unfolded in your life, ones that could currently be occurring, and then we'll go ahead and see what awaits you on this timeline ahead. With that being said, this one was super intense, okay, this happened a couple nights ago from the time that I'm recording this and, you know, it's still very, very vivid and and uh, it's just a bit wild. So let's go ahead and begin with the first scene and setting. Now the theme was about you guys approaching a transformation in your life differently. Okay, so this could be from a new shift of perspective. This could be a new mindset that you guys have adopted. And you guys were in the shower, okay? And you were like, it's time for something new, which is all about a purification process. So a lot of you have uh, come to terms with some type of ending. There was um, a coffin that you guys were looking at in this first scene and it was pink okay and it was also for a grandfather that had not passed yet but you guys were almost like preparing for an ending so some of you um in the past this could have been something that you knew was going to have its termination date right it could have been something that you knew was ultimately going to come to an end this could have been a connection to someone or something with it being pink i feel like it's something that you fell out of love with um pink usually represents again maybe this is like a romantic situation of some kind um maybe it's something that you used to love like doing and again it's something that you've now grown out of resonance with in some way now the coffin is about again an ending to something in your life it could be a relationship a job uh, just some kind of phase maybe it's like a identity right something that you want strongly identified with and no longer do and uh, this represents again almost like you entering into the unknown during this time and having to let go of the past and really move on especially psychologically right any kind of psychological attachments and you guys definitely could have received an echo before something took place right because grandfathers represent like wisdom and guidance so you definitely could have had almost like a guide whether that's invisible or visible uh you know indicating to you that this is something that is about to wrap up it's something that you need to kind of prepare to be able to release right maybe it's a connection or something that just was no longer serving you especially when it comes to the continuum that you guys wanted to be connected to and after this there was themes around a resurrection okay and uh, this grandfather like coming back to life right and it was something that you guys were foreseeing so I feel like you knew that releasing something was going to give you so much room for activities you know <laughs> you know that, the that scene in Step Brothers where they're making the bunk beds and they're like we have so much room for activities <laughs> like it kind of gives me that vibe where it's like right there's a new chapter in your life right a lot of you are healing from some kind of trauma <laughs> where the bunk bed breaks and he's like it collapsed like maybe you felt like an old reality was like collapsing right even if this is like in the realms of your own mind and just the version of yourself that you once knew right but you guys are going to go through a rebirth right you're, you're going to experience life a lot differently after this because um, even after that happened uh you know even in the movie I don't know why it's coming up but they had formed such a close bond so maybe some of you it kind of gives me 12th house energy where you're releasing things maybe you've strengthened like a bond that you have with a specific guide right uh, maybe it's again your connection to the metaphysical realm the invisible realms maybe this is strengthening your connection to a higher power in some way right or your higher self it kind of gives me 12th house elements because 12th house also rules the bedroom so I think that scene was coming up specifically um but yeah um also I was being shown somebody that had an unidentified node okay where they had not yet identified like their true north or their north node and their purpose in life and the direction in which uh, you know their dharma is calling them but once they did recognize this and identify this it's something that they that they couldn't like overlook anymore so some of you it's almost like a higher purpose was calling this was an invitation that you received and maybe it's something that you try to repress and suppress because I'm seeing the judgment and then you know you knew that it's something that you could no longer ignore and this is saying that once you protect your dharma your dharma begin begins to protect you and uh, it looks like again you guys are definitely being protected and you were being protected and you just didn't know it and maybe some of you are really realizing how divinely protected you are and there was also a scene around somebody who had forgiven and accepted what others were still wrapping their head around. So again, I feel like a lot of you, because I'm seeing like, that's so Raven, right? Where it's like, this is the future I can see. You know, it's like, it's mysterious to me. It's almost like, um, 
yeah, that's me. You know, it's almost like Aquarius can foresee a lot of things in the future because Uranus energy is very futuristic, right? 11th house is also about uh, like somebody saving and planning for the future, right? Uh, they're com them, co them coming up with like all unconventional solutions to uh problems that may not even yet exist right they're already beginning to see the potential opportunities of where it is that they're being guided even if you didn't necessarily know where you were going you knew that you were going to be showing the way so it's almost like you were just receiving like divine assistance and guidance around right it's time to release this we're going to bring in something of course you just don't know what it's going to be um but this is what's going to happen right you're just gonna have to trust me and you guys just step forward and with faith you know you know with whatever this is and because you had showered earlier i feel like you were, guys were already like emotionally learning how to regulate yourself for this right um you had already processed emotions ahead of time so some of you it kind of gives me it kind of gives me a specific energy where it's like you already knew that it was time to release something i'm seeing like eight of cups and so maybe emotionally you were already detaching from this uh, maybe psychologically we're detaching this i feel like the physically leaving it behind was the last thing to actually take place because you realize that again it just no longer serves you and uh there was also a girl who stood in front of you and challenged you as you did this. So it's almost like the past could have been knocking, right? Somebody could have came in and tested uh, your boundaries. I'm hearing like temptation could have tested you, right? The path that was familiar, but also unfulfilling versus the path that is unknown uh, and could bring you the fulfillment that you desire. And she got really mad with the fact that you didn't compromise your integrity or, or boundaries. So she began throwing broken shards of glass. And there was a guide that stepped in front of you and it, and it hit um, her throat, right? And the glass had hit the windpipe. That was it. You decided to harm it away and release this whole scenario behind. And I feel like that was almost like you seeing somebody's true colors in some way. You know, again, some some of you it could have been people like evil eyeing you that no longer um, support your healing journey or your mental health in some way. Maybe it's something that you felt like was lowering your vibration or whatever it was. Um, but somebody came in to help you see things from a different perspective. Like finally you were able to see that there was a way out and you didn't have to stay in a situation out of social courtesy or obligation you know, whatever that is. And you saw somebody's jealous jealousy towards you and also the fact that people could have envied you in some way, right? And then you went down a slide, which is about knowing that this was kind of all going downhill. So it's almost like, you know, you might as well make the most of it. You know, your life's uh, not falling apart, but it's falling into place. So let's just go ahead and, you know, step aside. Like you move this to the side. Um, after this, there was a woman who would not leave the store that you guys were in. And there was a lot of fresh produce around, right? And you began to link arms with somebody to get you away from a toxic ex that was there. And again, this was also like somebody that was trying to go through your old phone and they were really invading your privacy. So the store shows that, again, somebody was trying to block you from a desire that you had for new experiences, opportunities or possibilities, or you felt like there was some kind of connection that you had to something that was blocking you from being able to do this. And this is something that you had to confront. And a lot of you, again, are almost like releasing these old feelings and not bringing them into new experiences. And the supermarket is almost like this abundant choice that you have in your life, right? Where um, whether it's material possessions or just personal growth, you guys have a lot to gain, okay? As you're, as you're moving into unknown terrain and you're looking at the possibilities of what could be. Now, the broken glass shows that there's deeper emotional needs that are being symbolized here. Again, there's almost transparency when it comes to truth and when it comes to you having to be almost like vulnerable with yourself around what a person was or what a situation really was and having to follow your intuition right and uh it also is connected to a, a relationship maybe it's a relationship to someone or something it could symbolize like a broken heart uh, maybe it's a situation that feels like it's failed it could have been something that would deeply hurt your feelings in some way and it also shows that you're getting over any obstacles, right? That could be painful in a very radical way. So if you were hurt love-wise, it shows that, again, it's time to move on and, and go through this change, right? And this renewal and this rebirth. And uh, it's knowing that love will always return back around to you, whether it's in the form of another person, another place, another thing. Like, you never really lose anything when it comes to energy. It's always transferred or recycled into new experiences. And the neck also shows, again, betrayal or feeling like this is something that was overburdening you. Maybe it's something that was becoming a burden to you. And maybe this was something that you stuck your neck out for, like, physically or, like, again, metaphorically. So, yeah, some of you could have been enabling some kind of behavior as well. 
the person that was linking your arm shows a higher self or spirit guides, okay? Where again, they were teaching you how to be more compassionate, empathetic and understanding to those around you. Maybe realizing why people were operating on certain planes of consciousness. Again, the relationship that they had with themselves had them acting out in very, I'm hearing peculiar ways. So that could be very peculiar, right? Maybe you started to see a different reality. I'm hearing it was very eerie. Okay, so... Uh, again this also symbolizes spiritual growth and personal development so it's time for you guys to release negative thoughts beliefs patterns that are holding you back from freely achieving your potential okay and being ready to embrace new experiences and challenges that will help you grow spiritually and evolve into more of a conscious and aware being now the last scene was a passage into a new dimension and much like alice you know you guys got curious and curious when it comes to what was awaiting you on the other side of this portal so you opened a secret passage right it was a door and um there was people that you were aware of that wanted to take advantage of like this little girl as you began to enter into this new world so you felt like it was your responsibility to protect her okay she was like your little sister so secret passage is an invitation to explore on un- explored aspect of yourself um and maybe even someone around you and being open to new experiences coming away this kind of reminds me of like a parallel reality it kind of had that feel where it's a function uh where again it conduits uh, an alternative dimension right or elevated states of consciousness so maybe you guys are experiencing something of a higher octave of some kind you guys are also in a flimsy kayak um which is like the first time i think i had been on one in the metaphysical realm which was pretty interesting because i had this experience in the physical um and this is about navigating water in a masterful way okay and because it was flimsy this is about being really cautious with your emotional state right really paying attention to your emotions and intuition and what's telling you as you enter into new terrain and this new reality right um when people show you who they are, like believing them the first time, um, you know, again, when you're aware of which situations serve you and which ones don't, like how are you aligning your actions? Is that accordingly or, you know, disaccordingly? Um, is that causing some kind of disharmony? You know, if you continue to compromise your being. Um, and there was also a kitchen restaurant that you entered it through. So this is people trying to access uh, your new reality okay this could be like echoes from a previous dimension that you guys have already departed from and they definitely may want to disrupt your quality of life and this could be something unconsciously that they're doing right they could be operating from a very unconscious place because people were trying to follow you through this passageway there was themes around money and energy exchanges uh so maybe you're realizing this is something that is too taxing to you right and it's not something that you can profit from anymore and there was also a basket that was being weaved okay so this was also you realizing that um you need to take forward what it is that you need okay and that may just be the lessons and release the things that no longer serve you also shows again like intricacies and insecurities maybe this is like releasing these uh uh, complex situations that may not make a lot of sense because they're not really supposed to right um there was also themes around clothes clothing a bathroom and disguises so this kind of remind me of witness protection and you guys adapting your social status identity or the roles that you play in some way also changing your attitude and the way that you kind of relate to others I almost get maybe this is how like other people perceive you and you having again almost like witness protection kind of reminds you of again like this new identity so I feel like you guys are going through like this new change and we even have the moon made a new beginning so the base I feel like that could be significant for you I don't know why that's coming up right now I'm definitely being guided to read some the moon maiden so emerging as this new transformed version of self and they were also talking about the paradox that came from within. So maybe if you, some, of, some of you may feel like it's a paradox that's happening in your life right now. So the moon maiden arrives to offer you a new beginning, a new face and facet of yourself that is aching to be shown to the world. Those qualities that you have been quietly cultivating are ready for the limelight. This secrecy was important for it protected your new face and kept what was precious close to your heart. But now 
it is time to come forward in full splendor. Announce the new you to yourself first, reveal it slowly to the world like the waxing moon. Allow others to be surprised by how mature and grown up this side of you is. Now it's time to set yourself free. The moon maiden belongs only to herself and she is summoning the parts of you that challenge convent convention, that refuse to be intimidated and that cannot be tamed or put inside of a golden cage. The moon maiden invites you to shine with your own light, to have a radiant curiosity and to ask anyone who offers you a mouthful of dogma, why do you believe this is so? Question everything others assume is a given and do not collude with the drama around you. Become an unpredictable being yet an eminently reliable friend. The moon maiden invites you to answer only to yourself and reminds you that you are not anyone's property. Be true to your soul's calling even as some around you in a relationship or job want to capture your light inside of a bottle. You know how to rise to the occasion just unfailingly as the moon does. When the time comes you return to darkness and become enshrouded in mystery until you are ready to return which I feel like, again, is so uh, Aquarius right now. Even behind that, we have ma magician sword, confidence in your magic. So this is about discarding and severing ties uh, with people, places, and things that do not serve you, okay? The tool, um, the tool that a, a sword can be is much more powerful than just using as in as a weapon so this is about being really intentful right with the people places and things that are almost coming with you into this new reality right aquarius i get that very very strongly for you let's go ahead and take a look at a uh, wisdom of the oracle deck as well for you and see what's going on we're just going to free flow We have building blocks, okay? So seeing this as an opportunity, okay? We have regeneration, which is all about a rebirth that's going on in your life. Let's go and take a look at building blocks. I feel like you're rebuilding, like, again, like, personalities, aspects within yourself that you never really got to fully explore, right? So strong foundations a beautiful work in progress right and your life can be that masterpiece and also a work in progress at the same time so you have everything you need to cultivate the extraordinary life this is a time when your focus needs to be on the foundations you build upon your work your relationships and your very being are underwritten by your values ethics morals and core beliefs are uh, mm -hmm. Are they still true for you? Will they still stand the test of time and serve as a solid grounding upon which you construct your life? This kind of reminds me of Saturn and Neptune in retrograde, right? Because Saturn is the foundation, okay? And Neptune is where the foundations may be built on illusions, right? Is this misaligned values? Are these foundations in your life that have been built on lies? The lies that other people have told you? The lies that you have been telling yourself? Because the veil is uh, definitely coming down, okay? I'm hearing the veil is very thin. So maybe you guys feel like um, you've been accessing almost like your subconscious intentions, right? And you've been reprogramming that. So your destiny is truly a remarkable and beautiful design. Now, with a relationship message, when you see this card know that you're attracting new relationships into your life and solidifying the ones that you already have by building them on the foundations of honesty humility clear communication and genuine desires to know one another you are moving towards laying the groundwork for a relationship with a firm footing that will ensure it will withstand any storm long-standing relationships are also being repaired and strengthened you and the other person are stronger wiser and more powerful together than apart so uh yeah, this is getting back to basics, right? What are you building your life on? Is it values that are aligned with yourself? Is it belief systems that align with yourself? Uh, because Saturn is the part of you that accepts challenge in order to gain wisdom. And you guys have gained a lot of wisdom at the expense of certain experiences where you're realizing that have been certain things that have not been serving you or your higher purpose. And I feel like you've um, really had your faith be tested, right? When it comes to losing things and people and it feeling like a loss, and realizing that there's been so much more to gain, right? The universe has been moving them out of your way with Saturn. A lot of these things have been karmic cycles. 12th house is like the releasing of this, right? The prosperity message is everything that you need to turn iron into gold in the alchemical process of creating the prosperity life you desire desire now is the time to build on the strong foundation you already have laid for your for your prosperity keep in mind that these building blocks are imbued with sparkling energy of your intentions own your dream and remember that you always have more than enough and you always are enough so abundance is ever present your creativity is divinely inspired and the design for your life is taking shape and service to the world you are meant for success now the protection message is 
Now is the time to address the cracks in the foundation of your life. Perhaps your values have changed and it's time to strengthen your convictions and letting go of things that no longer serve your vision you have for your life. Or perhaps you've chose to ignore the signs in a situation or agreement you have entered into and the fact that it's not right for you. Remove the rotten pieces and reinforce your core moral strength and integrity. Now is the time for righteous honesty for you are called to renovate and upgrade your consciousness. You will be so glad when you do. Spirit has a spectacular blueprint for your life far beyond your imagination. Don't be afraid to replace what's not solid. Now, again, some of you, these were foundations that really align with your values once upon a time, but they no longer do with Neptune there. Again, Poseidon energy, the water, the ocean. If you try to build, uh, you know, again, a foundation with Saturn energy, something that is going to be long lasting, with a foundation that is already compromised, right? Something that will cause it to rot and decay very quickly because of conditions, right? When it comes to your environments or connections or things um, or people, you know, whatever that could be, places that no longer serve you. This is, uh, again, almost like setting yourself up for failure. It's setting yourself to uh, the road of spiritual or moral decay because um, you're essentially, again, like almost like building a foundation based on you over idealizing a situation and circumstance rather than looking at it for the true nature of you know what it is and having to accept it for what it is so something else again yeah, because it's like it will affect your mental health okay it will affect you vibrationally um in a way where you'll carry very dense like thoughts around this and then that will create very dense thought forms right because your emotions are reinforcing that thought and that's negatively charged towards these people places and things right it will lead to resentment in some way either you resenting yourself or resenting those around you is knowing that this is a decision not just for your highest good but also again those around you it will lead to oscillance of a cell because the denser the vibration uh the harder it is for that energy to move freely okay through you and that death of a cell that oscillance of a cell will rot so it's it's essentially that house that is built on water right okay hopefully that made sense all right let's go ahead and uh take a look at what it is that you guys need to embody more of right when it comes to your soul's journey and vibration you have to look at the silver lining with humor as well we also have acceptance so accepting the things you cannot change peace again releasing any negative and en en energy and doubt is about following the universe is almost like mystery for you right uh some of you are wanting to know all the answers right now when it comes to things that are quantum information the one that you need to embody more of the most is i release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth so again this is about belief systems uh, because your your intention is one thing right your conscious intention but what are those subconscious intentions with neptune because those are deeply programmed belief systems right whether this is like through your childhood or something ancestrally that you've inherited right some of you it's almost like having to go through some kind of subconscious or unconscious reprogramming or rewiring i get that deeply with the 12th house energy that you've had right let's go ahead and pull some tarot and then uh we'll close out i'm gonna keep this relatively short what is this new parallel reality dimension consist of for aquarius what can aquarius look forward to four of coins could be new finances this is also about things that you can actually hold on to you know some of you um there's new career or financial opportunities right that are going to contribute towards some kind of level up this is also about the, st the stable foundation it's sun and capricorn energy so i feel like this is also about your identity when it comes to your reputation in the world um capricorn again is 10th house energy so this could be to do with your career um it's to do with your status it's to do with your accomplishments with the things that you're going to be known for and this sun there is almost like this is something that you will gain some kind of recognition for and some of you it's because you're getting back to basics when it comes to the foundation when it comes to a path that aligns with your values the one that aligns with your purpose you know it's leading up towards the, the ten of pentacles what is this four of coins 
we have the high priestess so a lot of you can feel this coming in yeah there's something that you are prophesizing okay and again a lot of you this is some type of new beginning that you feel like has a lot of potential for growth okay one that you're very very passionate about and you're receiving the divine assistance and guidance that you need for your from your higher self during this time so not just close cycles that don't serve you anymore but also like complete those cycles so that you don't have to experience them again some of you again it's like really knowing your worth and value with this too yeah ten of cups like something that's going to bring you the ultimate level of fulfillment some of you it's finally being seen and it's been recognized right with the sun it's almost like yeah that's something that you're going to be able to strongly identify with with the sun that's going to make you super happy like not only is it going to make you happy on a material level with the four of coins um but also from a spiritual point of view with the sun because it's about the soul's journey yeah it's all because you've made room and you've released things that no longer serve you to make room to receive something that, that would better fulfill you so in those three of swords at the base is going to be nothing more than a distant memory right you're going to understand how it led to a portal of discovery around really understanding what would align with your preferences and desires moving forward all right let's go ahead and close out with a um a quotes message with the everyday spirit guide deck express yourself communication is key talk about it reach out okay so some of you it's finding the right kind of people circumstances to reach out to you with success success is in happening in all areas of your life all is unfolding in your favor you are a winner okay so some of you it's expressing yourself right there is some kind of ex uh, success coming for you uh, and towards you that awaits you on this path three is also about a new phase of growth and this is also about a card of communication so this could be writing this could be uh talking it, there could be something that you also third house you're able to learn about uh by communicating with others maybe when it comes to like what is coming towards you in some way Maybe this is because someone that could help you make a decision with two and six when it comes to a next chapter breaks down to an eight. So this could be about like some kind of um, karmic cycle and positive karma that is coming towards you. Some of you, there could be synchronicities with the high priestess as well that will come towards you through some kind of conversation. Like somebody could uh, just literally be a messenger. This could be literally anybody that you're talking to. In some way, there's something that you may hear that kind of gives you it gives you that validation or like clarification it even could just be like a moment of deja vu or you know little glitches that you may experience within the matrix so Aquarius, i hope that you guys enjoyed this reading hopefully it brought you the clarification insight that you needed along this stage in your journey if you're not already subscribed to this channel and want to stick around for future reads you consider subscribing personal reading details are also down below take a look at your weekly rings on my second channel as well that's also going to be linked down below but i wish you guys the very best of luck until next time bye